Hi, I'm Eric Bloom, editor and publisher of Electric Perspectives magazine at the Edison Electric Institute here in San Francisco uh, at EEI's annual convention. And I'm here with Graham Carter, who's the president and CEO, CEO of Axia Software Corporation. Hi, Graham. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Well, you, you've, you're, this is your first time at the EEI convention. Right. And what makes, it, what makes it an exciting thing right now for you? Well, really, the way the, the economy is and the way that the, the constraints in the utility industry is going, we're finding that our technology and our product and process that we have is really timely right now. So mm -hmm. it's very exciting for us as an organization. So tell me a little about your your, uh, your product then. So our product is uh, called Reveal. It's an, what we call asset investment planning software product. Mm -hmm. And what that means is we really help utilities to spend their money more effectively. So utilities have a number of constraints. It's even worse right now with the way the economy is. There's less capital for these utilities, but they still have the same kinds of business things they need to get done. Safety, reliability, smart grid investment, investment into reduction of carbon footprint, all of these kinds of things. So they... To have a way of being able to juggle all of these things along with the technical side of the business and to really come up with a program of how do we invest our money more wisely and stretch our dollar further to get bang for buck from our investment. So our software and process enables that within an organization. How is that different from just strict a asset management? Well, really asset management is, is a fancy word for a lot of the data and information about what we own in the field. Mm -hmm. So once we collect all this data, utilities do a very, very good job of collecting all this information. It's really taking that to the next level and... Um, using that data to make business decisions. So taking the, putting some analytics and some decision support around the information that we already collect and have as, as a utility, but then using that at the corporate level to actually help to make business decisions with mm -hmm. that information. Mm -hmm. uh, how many utilities are you working with right now? Uh, we're working with uh, two, two utilities right now, mm -hmm. actually in Southern California. Um, mm -hmm. We actually go live next week with the, uh, the, the first rollout across the two utilities, and they are San Diego Gas and Electric and Southern California Gas Company. Great. Um, what are, now, what are they actually doing with it? Are they doing anything in specific that would, um, that's... Uh... Well, they're uh, putting the software and the process across their entire planning organization, mm -hmm. so across their entire gas and electric transmission and distribution organization. Okay. And they're going to basically be putting their entire capital spend through the, the software process. And the value that they really see is that, um, as in many utilities, is that they have a very right now a system that's very manual. It's very Excel spreadsheet driven, very access database driven, and very silo. You have group A and group C. They come up with a different answer by a different methodology. So now the advantage is they have a common platform and framework across the organization so that when it gets up to the level of optimizing the spend and at the corporate level, uh, the corporate table, they now have a consistent framework because it's very hard to compare, compare things that are very different. So now, sure. and now they've got a consistent framework for doing that. That must take a lot of work on the utilities part to put for data providing you. Do they provide you the data to put in? Is that right? Right. So uh, utilities collect so much data and information, mm -hmm. so it's all there. It's just a matter of finding it. And that's the other key thing is that utilities typically have many, many kinds of systems with data in it, um, five, six, seven different databases. And, again, having a way of drawing all that together to use it. So mm -hmm. um, having a software technology that brings that all together to allow them to use it to make business decisions. Mm -hmm. How do you see yourself working with um, the, the smart grid? Um, I'm sure you, that's a lot of assets that, that people are going to have to be buying soon, right? Correct. Now, smart grid is interesting because everyone's talking about smart grid. It's, it's um, you know, driven by conservation uh, in the industry. And if you look at a straight business case, an ROI for a smart grid investment, it's very tough for a utility to get, get it through funded because you know, it's a very tough business case. There's a lot of soft benefits from, from a smart grid technology. So, again, having a system in place that a analyzes both the soft benefits and the hard, tangible ROI benefits is required to actually fund smart grid investments. So having as asset investment planning technology allows the utility to fund smart grid initiatives that gives them a measurable benefit for those intangible things, customer perception and all those kind of things that are very important but often very hard to define in a in a regular business case. But how do you define them then? I mean, that you're able to, that's the software. Is that's the software, and it's how? about having a process for we're bringing together all the different um, stakeholders around the table and yeah. drawing that into a process where we can actually define and quantify these kinds of benefits. Oh. Well, see, that is great. I think that is one of the main problems for utilities right now is trying to figure out what is my, what is my business case for for the smart grid, and, and I think there are a lot of things on, uh, underfoot right now that are that are going to that are 
that are about interoperability standards and those kinds right. of things. Um, so, uh, are you involved with any of that, that the interoperability standards and trying to get um, uh, trying to get the uh, different parts of the smart grid to work together? Absolutely, we see ourselves as as leaders and thought leaders in, in this space. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, we're working with uh, a number of groups um, in terms of helping um, develop standards and better processes and, um, and ways of, of bringing these standards together. Um, as I say, we find um, we're a technology company, yep. and um, so you know we're working with some of the big players, the Accentures of the world and the IBMs of the world, to help to bring some of these standards and methodologies and processes together. Mm -hmm. In fact, recently we signed a deal with Accenture to become part of their high-performance utility model. So helping utilities become the utility of the future mm -hmm. and with all these kinds of technologies. And, and so we're, we're one piece of, of that with, with Accenture. Mm -hmm. I'm fascinated. There are all sorts of, in this space, there are all sorts of partnerships that are occurring. You know, and that, and that the, um, there are very few mergers or anything like that. Right. It's just that people are working together in order to, to because they can't do it on their own. Really? Yeah, so, it's just such a complex issue. Yes, yeah, the, the simple with the old saying, team together, everybody achieves more. And right. it's true. We've got to work together as an industry to, this is a huge challenge as an industry, and people need to work together, and we can solve it together. Mm -hmm. Well, great. How do you look at the future of the um, utility in the IT space? Um, I think it's really lifting the standard. Um, I think, in some respects, technology is kind of um, being left out of the big utility footprint, and it's starting to catch up now. Um, you know, I find is I talk to young engineers that come out of university and they get into their first job in utility, and the first thing they say is, "Where's the software?" And you know, everything's been done in the past with uh, spreadsheets and, and very manual processes. There's nothing wrong with that, but um, it's um, as we've got to catch up with the time. So I think the future is really a lot of systems and processes, um, and that allows us to attack these challenges in a greater way because now we've got the tools to allow us to think outside of that traditional box and actually expand. Um, our thoughts and our minds and, and processes and technology that we use. This is Eric Bloom uh, for Electric Perspectives. Thanks very much.